In today's video, we will be taking a look inside Qatar Royal Family's $10 billion homes. Doha Royal Palace The Doha Palace consists of 15 elegant palaces that cost over $1 billion to build. It covers about 40,000 square feet. The palace is coated in gold. The royal family has an immense love for cars. There is a car park in the palace that can accommodate over 500 cars. Khalifa bin Hamad Khalifa Al Thani, the 31-year-old prince, has a fleet of cars that includes some of the most luxurious cars in the world, like Bugattis, Lamborghinis, and Ferraris. The Oman Royal Palace In 2019, this palace was built in Oman by Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. Although the palace is surrounded by secrecy, a few things are still known about it. Its construction began towards the end of 2017, and it was completed in 2019. Just like the Doha Palace, it was built in white and covered in gold. The location of the Oman Palace is unique as it is adjacent to the Al Sakh Military Airport in the Jebel Al Akhdar Mountains. Also, the palace overlooks the waters of Oman. The royal family's influence and wealth are not limited to Qatar, rather, it extends beyond the Arab borders. They own many investments and properties in other countries, especially in London, where they have a reputation as the biggest landowners. Let's take a look at some of Qatar's royal family properties in other countries. Waterside Mansion in Turkey The Qatar royals have also acquired the most expensive waterside mansion in Turkey. This mansion was said to be sold to a Qatari businessman, Abdullahi Mana Al Hajri, for over $100 million, but it was later revealed that the businessman happens to be the father in law of Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad, the ruler of Qatar. The luxury mansion has 64 rooms and sits on about 6,000 square meters. Forbes House The former emir acquired this Georgian mansion in 2018 for a whopping $270 million. The property lies in the heart of London's Belgravia and has been renovated and reconstructed into a 25-bedroom six-story building. There's a parking lot that's large enough to accommodate 32 cars. There's also a grand staircase in black and gold leading from the ground floor to the upper chambers. On the ground floor, you'll find the library, drawing room, guest salon, dining hall, and 11 bedrooms for staff. The upper floors have both male and female master suites, five guest suites, and six suites for children. While in the basement, there is a treatment room, beauty room, gym, sauna, Turkish bath, and two plunge pools. A New York Mansion The royal family of Qatar purchased a property in New York in 2017. It was a $41 million mansion, and it was acquired for their maids alone. Yes, you heard that right. The mansion is a 10,400-square-foot residence, fully furnished with exquisite sitting rooms, lounge areas, dining areas, bedrooms, a large kitchen, a rooftop lounge, and outdoor gardens. The five-story building is dedicated to their most loyal housekeepers, and it sure speaks of comfort. It was built almost two decades ago, and it tells the story of a blend of ancient and modern interior excellence. Beaux-Arts Townhouses were purchased from the Lycee Francia School in 2002 and are located at 79 East 72nd Street. The prestigious institution acquired its grand properties and decided to sell its six facilities. The royal family purchased two of the listed properties, which also were one of the largest properties in the list. It costs about $26 million. After acquiring the townhouses, they put in years of construction to combine them into a mega mansion. It features two floors of bedrooms and bathrooms and an indoor swimming pool. Cornwall Terrace Regent Park London Treehouses worth over $140 million on Cornwall Terrace was purchased by one of the wives of the former emir of Qatar. Jointly, this house is said to be the most expensive anywhere in the world. She bought the property in 2013 and reports say she plans to revitalize the building into a 17-bedroom mansion with 14 lounges, a cinema, a juice bar, and a swimming pool. When it is completed, the mansion will be the most expensive residence in London with a projected worth of over $300 million. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and give the video a like if you're loving the content. Aside from residential apartments, the royal family also has a real estate portfolio consisting of several commercial buildings and projects. A good example is the tallest building in London's landscape, the Shard Skyscraper. 
Standing at 310 meters, the Shard Skyscraper is the tallest building in London. It cost the royal family the sum of $2.5 billion. The structure's outline resembles a shard of glass stretching from the ground into the sky. It has 95 stories with residential apartments ending on the 72nd floor. About 5,000 people live and work in the beautiful spaces of this building. The Shard has seven world-class restaurants, event spaces, and the phenomenal Shangri-La Hotel that has one of the highest pools in the world. The royal family also has shares in some of London's household names, like the Harrods chain of stores. This happens to be one of the most famous and exquisite department stores in London. Here you can get high-end luxury items with gold and diamonds. You cannot dress casually in this store. If you do, you will be chased away at the door. It was bought for $2.4 billion in 2010. In 2017, The Telegraph reported that the Qataris own more of London than even the Queen. That leads us to the end of this video. Please like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.